ഹായ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു റൈ ടി ക്ലാസ് ഹോപ്പ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ഹാവ് റിട്ടേൺ ദ എക്സാം വെൽ ഓക്കെ ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അവർ സെവൻത് ലെസൺ ദ വർക്കിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻ്റർനെറ്റ് ഇൻ അവർ ഫിഫ്ത് ചാപ്റ്റർ നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് വി ഹാവ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ദ വെയ്സ് ഓഫ് നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ബെനിഫിറ്റ്സ് ഡിറൈവ്ഡ് ഫ്രം നെറ്റ്വർക്കിംഗ് ബട്ട് അവർ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് വാസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ എ ലിമിറ്റഡ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ലാബ് or a building try to imagine a larger form of this network a network that includes all the computers across the world there exists such a global network today and this huge network with infinite potential for communication is called the internet let's see some of the advantages of internet first files can be copied from one computer to another then people living in far off places can see and talk to each other and we can purchase things by giving orders to the sellers through the internet we can easily share information with others first let's study about server computers a server is a computer in which a website is hosted on the internet hosted means installed okay and the process of hosting a website is known as website hosting that is the process by which website is installed on a server is known as website hosting special programs will be installed in order to satisfy the needs of a variety of users using the services provided by the website The server software developed by companies like Oracle and Apache are examples. The operating capacity of a server computer should be high because many people may use the website at the same time. Okay. Also, the server software installed in a computer can manage more than one website at a time. For example, scholarship.itschool.gov.in resource.itschool.gov.in are websites which are hosted on the same server next ip address and domain name we know that any computer in the network would be having an ip address right likewise an ip address will be provided to the server also which will strictly be unique so when we want to take some information from the internet we will have to enter the ip address of the website on the address bar of the web browser but we have to deal with many such ip addresses while browsing websites haven't we so in such cases it is not easy to remember ip address of all the websites In order to overcome this difficulty these IP addresses are connected to names that we can easily remember these names are called domain names and it is this domain name that we will enter on the address bar of the web browser while searching something clear some examples of such domain names are birdsofindia.org jimp.org irctc.co.in etc can you say any one domain name yes google.com is also a domain name now a service in the internet which is used to identify the corresponding addresses of a domain is known as domain name server once more domain name server that is dns is a service in the internet itself used to identify the corresponding ip addresses of a domain and vice versa so we have studied that server computers are computers in which websites are installed okay and all these servers will have unique ip addresses but for the convenience of the users these ip addresses are connected to domain names clear 
that is there exists only one server with an IP address at a time. But is it possible that a domain name could host only one IP address? Very busy internet service providers sometimes host their website in different servers at different places to improve the speed and the efficiency of their service. They have different IP addresses. The user will get service from the most convenient server. That is, we can say that one website can also have different IP addresses. Okay children, study all the portions very well. We will continue the chapter in our next class. Thank you for watching.